This is an endurance program designed to target the entire body. First, we'll start with flexibility, the world's greatest stretch, which is a great stretch that targets the entire body. Next, for our dynamic warm-up, we'll be doing jumping jacks, which is a movement done in the frontal plane, which I believe is the most beneficial warm-up because it engages the entire body. Jumping jack boosts your heart rate, improves blood circulation, and activates muscle. The next exercise is glute bridge, starting with the baseline, lying with your knees bent, heels dug into the floor, pressing your hips up from the ground. This exercise targets your glutes and hamstrings. This is the regression of the glute bridge, performing it on a foam roller with your legs extended out. This is a hip dominant bilateral exercise. This is the progression of a glute bridge, with your legs elevated on an unsteady surface, such as a physio ball, performing the same movement, lifting your hips off the ground. Sitting on the middle of the BOSU, with your hands on the ball or on the floor for support. Shoulders back, chest open, extend legs out from your body, Pull your knees into your chest, and then extend your legs back out. This exercise targets the abdominal muscles. If the unstable surface of the BOSU is too difficult for you, you can regress this exercise by performing the same movement on the floor. You can make this exercise more difficult by decreasing the stability by lifting your hands off the BOSU or floor. This is an example of a core flexion exercise. The next exercise is the standing dumbbell curl, which is a vertical pull exercise that takes place in the sagittal plane and targets the bicep muscle. During this exercise, it's important to keep your back straight and your shoulders relaxed. The progression of this exercise would be to perform it on an unstable surface, in this case, a physio ball. The baseline of this exercise is the Russian kettlebell swing, which standing with your legs shoulder width apart, arms extended, bringing the kettlebell to shoulder height. It's a kettlebell swing, which is a hip dominant bilateral exercise. This exercise is a very effective movement and develops great power in your hamstrings, glutes, and core. It is an athletic movement that burns tons of calories. A deadlift with a kettlebell would be a good regression of this movement. The progression of the kettlebell swing would be the American kettlebell swing, which instead of bringing the kettlebell to shoulder height, you would bring it up above your head. The next exercise is the incline leg press, which for a baseline, you start with your feet shoulder width apart. Incline leg press is beneficial because it takes stress off your knees and lower back, targeting the hamstrings and quad muscles. The regression of this exercise would be to perform the same movement with your feet little more than shoulder width apart. This is a hip dominant exercise. It's important to keep your knees straight during this movement and avoid them from caving in. The progression of this exercise would be to bring your feet closer together, about one inch apart. Placing your feet in different points of the plate targets different muscles throughout the hamstring and quad muscles. The next exercise is the seated cable row. It's important to keep your back straight, pinching your shoulder blades together. This exercise helps to improve posture and prevents rounded shoulders and hunchback. This exercise takes place in the transverse plane. For the regression of the seated row, instead of using the cable column, you use a resistance band, forming the same movement. For the progression of this exercise, it will target more of the total body by performing the same exercise as the baseline, but in a squat position. This is a vertical pull exercise. This exercise targets the trapezius muscles, lat muscles, the erector spinae, and real deltoids.